Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm a buyer at Harry Rosen. I'm here today to show you how to tie the perfect bow tie. A lot of men consider tying a bow tie to be a difficult task, but I'm going to show you how to make it very easy. The first step before you put the bow tie around your neck is to ensure that it's adjusted to the correct width of your neck. And you can do that by either adjusting the buttons or the slide on the back. You want to make it a little bit bigger just in case you can always make it smaller. So first step is to place the bow tie around your neck and you want to have one end of the bow tie longer than the other. Let's say about one and a half to two inches. Next, you want to cross the long end over the shorter end. And this next series of steps is very similar to tying your shoe, so keep that in mind. You want to bring that end up and simply make a tie, just like the first step of tying your shoes. And then let's place this end over your shoulder to get it out of the way for a moment. In the next step, you want to fold this end over to make a loop. And you'll also notice that the shape of the bow tie is beginning to become evident. You're holding this loop with your forefinger and your thumb. This is important because it really assists you in the next step. So hold it quite snugly. You then want to bring this end back down and it sort of bisects the end of the bow tie that you have down here. And you'll notice that a small hole or loop has been created that you're going to push this through. So you want to take it like so and with your other hand push it through and pull out the loop. When you're pulling out this loop, you need to be pulling on the other loop. If you pull on the non-looped ends of the bow tie, it will fall apart. So at this point, you just want to very gently continue to pull on each loop to tighten it and to adjust your bow tie into the desired shape. Now, the nice thing about bow tie that you tie yourself, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's actually a little bit nicer when it's slightly imperfect because it has a lot of life to it. Once you're satisfied with the shape of the bow tie, you can simply flip down the collar of your shirt and you may need to adjust the bow tie one more time. And there you have it, a perfectly tied bow tie wear. First, we're gonna look at doing a very simple straight fold. So you want to, first of all, flip the pattern side of your pocket square down. Secondly, fold your pocket square in half, very simple and then you want to fold it in half again so you have a very simple square. Then fold it one more time and one more time like so. So at this point you have two options. You can either place it into the pocket like so so that you have a very clean neat edge or you also have the option to place it so that the folds appear at the top which just gives it a slightly different look. Both very appropriate pocket square folds. The next pocket square fold we want to look at is the poof. And the poof is quite simple. You want to lay your pocket square out flat so the pattern side is up. Pick it up approximately in the center. Then you want to create a, a circle with your forefinger and thumb on your other hand and pull the pocket square through that circle. At this point, you have a couple of different options. You can either simply tuck the tail under and place it into your pocket like so, so you just have a beautiful scalloped edge. Or you can take the tail, fold it up so that you actually have a poof and a peak together. which adds just a little bit more flair and personality to the whole look. This next pocket square is not a pocket square at all, but it's actually called a pocket round. It's a relatively new addition to the world of accessories. And this pocket round makes your life very easy. All you need to do is lay it out flat, pick it out approximately in the center, and at this point you have two options. 
you can either place it into the pocket like so, and you really have a fantastic flourish of texture. Or if you want something a little bit more understated, you can flip it over and place it into the pocket like so, so that you just have a very simple, elegant scalloped edge. Next, we're gonna look at a peaked fold. So what you wanna do first is flip your pocket square over so that the pattern side is down and you have a diamond shape. Then you wanna fold it into a triangle. Then you can take one of the corners and fold it over, not to meet it at the point, but to put it just slightly to either the left or the right of that point. Next, take the other remaining corner and do the same step so that you end up with three peaks. And you wanna pick it up in your hand and fold the tail under to make placing it into the pocket easier. And then you'll wanna tuck this side around as well. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the idea is to have uh, two or three peaks. Then you can simply place it into the pocket. And once it gets in, you can adjust it. 